Hey humans, are you itching for that sweet, sweet stereo pan delay sound? Does your heart sink and your wallet cry out every time you scroll through Reverb.com at the insane prices of stereo delay units? Don't break the bank. Today I'm gonna show you how to get stereo delay using just two simple mono delay pedals. Here we go. Delay is cool, but stereo delay is twice as cool. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. What is stereo delay? Well, I can't assume that you know what delay is, so let's define that first. Delay is just an effect where you take the original signal and it gets repeated. Bop, 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 bop. And this can vary by speed and number of repeats. Bop, 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 bop. But that's what delay is. Stereo delay, as the name suggests, is delay where you have independent control of the left channel and the right channel of delay. Why is this cool? You'll see even more context in a moment, but it can be a great tool for more spacious sounds. Space. Without further ado, let's get to the experiment. All right, to make your own stereo delay, you need three things. Number one, two simple mono delay pedals. Number two, something to split the signal. And number three, some kind of mixer. For those mono delay pedals today, we have the MXR carbon copy analog delay. And we're also using the Electro Harmonics Canyon, and I've got it on the Deluxe Memory Man delay setting. To split the original signal, since I am a man of the people, I grabbed something almost everyone has. A tuner. This Boss TU3 has two outputs. One of them is a bypass and the other is the one that you can mute. But if you leave it unmuted, it splits your signal in two. For a mixer, this is my trusty Tascam Porta 2, but almost any mixer will do. Let's check out the routing here so I can show you what I mean. First, you need a signal going in somewhere. Then you need a way to send it out. I am using the effects out on this mixer. So from the effect out, I'm going straight into the chromatic tuner, which is my splitter. Any kind of splitter will do. Not stereo to mono, you want mono to mono mono. Now, as you can imagine, it's quite simple. One of the signals is going to one delay pedal, the carbon copy delay, and another signal is going to the EHX Canyon pedal. Now the output of the carbon copy delay is going into channel five on my mixer and the output of the canyon is going into channel six of my mixer. I have both of those panned, hard panned, and that is how you get your stereo effect sound. It's beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, I'm gonna use the simple snare drum of a simple drum machine so that we have a consistent signal today that we can demonstrate some cool techniques that you would use with a stereo delay. Let's just get to it. Here we are, we are in the land of happy. And here it is. Our trusty Roland TR-505. Let's hear what's happening. Pretty simple, right? We've got a snare drum sound. When you're thinking of stereo delay, it's best to think of it musically. Let me stop this for a second. So before we even get to the stereo delay, I like to think of using delays as rhythmic instruments. So. If you all remember from music theory, you know, you have eighth notes, you have quarter notes, you have triplets, you have 16th notes, some kind of groovy rhythm. Even if you're not versed in music theory, you know when something's on or something's off. So dial it in. And one of the fun things to do with stereo delay is to have something on the right side in a rhythm and something on the left. And sometimes it's cool to have something a little bit odd, like, uh, quarter notes on the right and triplets on the left or something like that. Something's really strong. So let's dial that in right here with this snare sound. So first things first, let's listen to the left side. I'm gonna put pan it up the center so we can get our delay. I'm just gonna start my snare. This is the snare drum. It's coming into this channel, channel two. Don't ask me why I chose that. I don't know why. Now. I'm gonna use the effect out. You don't hear the signal yet because I haven't brought it in, but it's coming here and now let's listen to it. Okay. I, as you can hear, 
I have it on just an echo, so I can find the rhythm by adding more. Th on this pedal, it's called regeneration, repeats. Those are either 16th notes or 32nd notes, depending on what you're th I'm thinking of this as a backbeat, so those are 16th notes to me. Let's go something a little bit slower. Let's do triplets. What we want is There we go. We got triplets. Right? We got triplets now. So let's set the settings on our right side. Pan this down the center. That's pretty close. All right, now we've dialed in both sides. One side is eighth notes, the other side is triplets. So let's hear them both together and what happens when we pan them out with no repeats, first of all. See, you can already tell that's going to be fun. Now check this out. Now this is where you get your stereo delay. Nice. Now let's add some repeats. Cool, you have your first stereo delay with eighth notes on this side, triplets on this side. Neato mosquito. Is that all that we can do? Well, no, obviously we can change the rhythm. What do you want to hear? How about quarter note triplets on the right and eighth notes on the left? You get where I'm going with this. Now, you, now we're gonna dial it in. Quarter note triplets on the right. So what would that sound like? That would sound like chat, 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 so let's try to find that. There we go. We dialed in our quarter note triplet already. Let's get to eighth notes on the left side. Great, now let's hear them together. Yeah. One thing to note also, I've got these signals coming in. I've got all of the EQ down. So it's like changing the tone of the snare drum. This is a common technique. And if you haven't seen my video on how to reverb a drum machine, you should check that out for a more full in-depth dive as to why we generally do things like that to signals like this. But right now we're gonna continue doing some math. Do you like math, kids? Yeah! Great, more math. No, now let's hear it. Here we are, sitting at a mixer with quarter note triplets on the right, eighth notes on the left. But we're sitting at a mixer, so I can feed these effects back into either signal. Well, both, because since it's the effect out, it's gonna go back into the signal. So check this out. This is where you can get really weird. Now we're getting even crazier rhythms. And this is part of the reason that we dial in a kind of a precise rhythm. It's not random. When you're listening to music and people are dialing in reverbs and time-based delays, they're doing it with intention. There is intention. So musical intention here right now is quarter uh, note triplets on the right and eighth notes on the left. And now that we add feedback, it's, it's making interesting rhythms that are still good. And watch, we can feed it back. So that's the signal of the MXR going back into the chain. What happens when we change it to the canyon going back into the chain? Let's check 
this feedback out. Now, if that ain't Neato Mosquito, I don't know what is. All right, I think you get the idea. I could go through more rhythms, but you should experiment with that on your, on your own. Now, let's hear this real quick, like in the context of an old mix. This song is called Untitled and Left Out. I just pulled it up. This is like the pre-mixed cassette. We're just gonna apply this to the guitar part. So let's hear how that sounds. Let's just leave the settings where they were and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Here, let's back up now here in context. No, this is with no stereo delay. Now I'll add it in. Pretty neat. Take it away. See, the guitar part already has reverb on it, but this gives it an even more crazy delay. That's probably too much, but you get the idea. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned right off the top in terms of settings of the pedals is when you're using them as outboard units, if you have any kind of mix knob, make sure that you have it in 100% wet. You don't want any of the original signal coming through. You've already got the original signal coming in on your mixer. 100% wet. That's very, very important. That should be stated clearly. Since we're here in this mix, and since you all know who watch this channel that I like effects on drums, Let's see what happens when we add this uh, delay to the drums. Let me try to get it back in time here real quick. All right, I dialed in the drum delay. I think it's both eighth notes right now. So let's check that out. Eighth notes on both sides, but they're gonna be different. Woo! Ha! It's a little weird. None. There's none. Bring it back in. Ah, it's funny and weird. Hey, stereo delay, this is pretty fun, right? Back to you, other made on tape man. So there you have it. Simple, easy, I hope that all made sense. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I know that I just kind of demonstrated and showed you some sounds. I hope you, it's got your brain tickling because clearly you can do so much more. And this is really the whole concept of sending something through and back in and possibly feeding it back. You don't have to just think of delay in that way. There are other time-based effects where this is fun. You can do that with reverbs. Please use this concept and just go forth, have fun. Here on Made on Tape, we're exploring limitations and today was a perfect example. Just grab, I don't have a stereo delay. I don't have a stereo delay pedal. So I just grabbed two mono delays and I can dial them in independently of each other. I have a chromatic tuner. It's got two outs. I have other pedals that have multiple outs. You could invest in a wire that's just a, a mono to dual mono. I have one lying around somewhere. It might be in my apartment. I don't remember where. Point being is if you think outside of the box and you're looking like at buying something like a stereo delay, you might not even need it, especially if you're mixing. Again, have fun. Think outside the box when and where you can. If you dig what I'm doing on this channel, please hit up some of the links below. My original music is there. My Patreon page is there. If you're interested in just donating a tip to the tip jar, there's a thanks button below this video. Think of that as like a tip jar for all YouTubers. More cool stuff coming at you. It's summertime in New York. It's hot, it's 100 degrees. I wanna turn the AC back on, so I'm gonna get out of your hair. And I will say, as always, is peace and be good to each other.